Different readings from different balances. Block A in figure hangs by a cord from spring balance D. So here is the spring balance D and block A. And is submerged in a liquid C contained in beaker B. The mass of the beaker MB is 1 kg. The mass of the liquid MC is 1.8 kg. Balance D reads MD prime equals 3.5 kilograms and the balance E reads ME prime equals 7.5 kilograms. The volume of the block A is 3.80 10 to minus 3 meter cube. Part A, what is the density of the liquid C? And part B, what will each balance read if block A is pulled out of the liquid? Okay. So let's start with a free body diagram here. You can see that the spring balance D is actually measuring the tension on this cord. And this block is completely submerged into the liquid. It's going to feel a buoyant force, which will be in the upward direction. And it has its own weight, MA times G, uh, pulling it down. So we have gravitational acceleration G in this direction. And let's call this axis the y-axis. That's the vertical axis. So the first thing I note here is that the tension that is uh, read as a mass by the spring balance D is the reading on spring balance D, MD prime times G. So if I look at the free body diagram for block A, I notice that there is the tension pointing up, tension in the cord, there is the buoyant force, Fb, and there is the weight of the block, Ma times G pointing down. So this is our buoyant force. All right. And if I write the equilibrium condition here, net force on the y-axis should be equal to uh, zero. This tells me that the tension reading, which is uh, the mass detected by the spring balance times G, MD prime G, plus the buoyant force, must be equal to the weight of the block, MA times G. And what is the buoyant force? For an object that is completely submerged into this liquid, it's the density of the liquid volume of the object multiplied by g. It's the density multiplied by the volume displaced and g, but the volume displaced is equal to the volume of the block in this case. All right, so uh, if I put this into this equation, I will obtain md prime times g, the reading on spring balance d, plus the density of the liquid, volume of block A multiplied by G is equal to mass of block A multiplied by G. So you can see the gravitational acceleration cancels here. And I find that the density of the liquid is equal to the difference between MA and MD prime, MA minus MD prime, divided by the volume of the block A. Now, if I look at the system A, B, and C, A plus B plus C as a whole, what are the forces acting on this uh, system consisting of three objects? Well, there is the tension, because it's touching the spring balance E, there's going to be a normal force here, normal force. And then there is the total weight pointing down, MA plus MB plus MC times G. And if I write the equilibrium condition, net force on the y-axis should be equal to zero. This tells me that the tension, which is MD prime times G, plus the normal force, which is sensed as a mass reading on a uh, balance E, Me prime times G. So this is uh, the tension, this is the normal force. 
here. Uh, this must be equal to the total weight MA plus MB plus MC times G. So the gravitational acceleration uh, cancels and I find that MA must be equal to MD prime, the reading on the spring balance D, plus ME prime, the reading on spring bal uh, on the balance E, minus MB, minus MC. So uh, I can substitute that for MA and find that the density of the liquid is... So if, if I substitute this value for MA here, you can see that MD primes will cancel. I will be left with ME prime minus MB minus MC divided by the volume of the block, volume A. So this is basically what I obtain symbolically. And if I plug in the numbers, what is the mass reading on spring balance A, it was 7.5 kilograms. So we go back here, it is 7.5 kilograms. So this is 7.5 minus mass of the uh, beaker. Mass of the beaker was one kilogram, so it is minus one. And mass of the uh, liquid is 1.8 kilograms. So minus 1.8 divided by the volume, which was 3.8, 10 to minus 3 meter cube. It was given here, volume of the block. And uh, when we do the math, we find a density of, uh, the density of the liquid is 1.24 times 10 to 3 kilograms per meter cube. So that's the answer to part A of this problem. And now if block A is moved out of the liquid, what will happen? So if block A is moved out of the liquid, then uh, this D will be reading the in a new tension, which will be uh, balancing just weight of block A and there's no liquid or beaker here. So it's completely outside. So I will find a new tension, T prime, which is responsible for balancing the weight of block A. So uh, T prime must be equal to MA times G because the net force on the Y axis should be equal to zero at equilibrium. And that means T prime equals, what was MA? MA is MD prime plus ME prime minus MB minus MC. So let's substitute that here. MD prime plus ME prime minus MB minus MC times G. So now what does balance D read? Therefore, I see that balance D now reads MD prime plus ME prime minus MB minus MC equals to MA. So it, it has this reading. Okay. And what is it? If I calculate this, it's the mass of the block, which is uh, MD prime reading was, uh, let's see, 3.5 kilograms. So it is 3.5 plus ME prime, which was 7.5. The reading on balance E, that is 7.5. Uh, minus MB, which is one kilograms and the mass of the liquid 1.8 kilograms. So this is the mass of the block A, which is 8.20 kilograms. That is the reading on the spring balance D. Now, if I look at the remaining part of this system, which consists of B and C, so A is completely out, B and C are sitting on this balance. Therefore, I need to draw the free body diagram for B and C. 
the normal force will be modified because the weight has changed. It is now mb plus mc times g that this is balancing. The net force on the y-axis should be zero. Therefore, I see that the reading will be due to the weight of b and c. And therefore, balance E reads this time the total mass MB plus MC. All right. So it's going to read this mass. And what is MB plus MC? If we plug in the numbers, we can find the numerical reading. MB plus MC is 1 plus 1.8, which is 2.80 kilograms. So this will be the reading on balance E, the new reading. All right, <clears throat> so we talked about different readings from different balances. We have a balance D, which is a spring balance, which measures the tension in the cord, and a balance E, which measures the normal force. Uh, we know the uh, readings in this configuration uh, and we know the mass of the beaker and mass of the liquid. So we want to calculate the density of the liquid knowing that the, the volume of the block is given. And first thing we did was draw a free body diagram. We have identified the forces acting on block A as tension, buoyant force and the weight uh, where the buoyant force is actually equal to density of the liquid, the volume of the object multiplied by G. So uh, the tension is what the balance D is, spring balance D is reading. It's MD prime times G. MD prime is the reading, which is 3.5 kilograms given here. So uh, writing this equilibrium equation MD prime G plus rho CVAG equals MAG, we find that the density is MA minus MD prime over volume. So the mass of block A minus the reading on spring balance D divided by the volume of block A. On the other hand, if I look at this total system A plus B plus C, it feels a normal force. Uh, that's the reading on the uh, due to the reading on balance is due to this normal force. There is the tension and the total weight Ma plus Mb plus Mcg. So writing this equation and substituting for tension the reading on balance D multiplied by G and for normal force reading on balance E multiplied by G, we obtain the mass of block A in terms of these two readings and the masses of the liquid and the beaker. So this gives us, when we substitute this result to the equation we obtained from the free body diagram of block A, we obtain the density as the scale reading, balance reading on E, minus the mass of block, uh, mass of the liquid C and mass of the beaker divided by volume of block A. So this is the numerical answer. If block A is moved out of the liquid, we have a new tension and uh, just the weight because it's out of the liquid there no we no longer have the buoyant force and the reading will be just ma but what was ma we have found it uh, from the free body diagram for a plus b plus c in part a so we substitute the numbers we can find the reading on spring balance d and for b plus c because we don't have block a inside anymore we just have a new normal force which is balancing the total weight therefore the new reading is due to the sum of the masses of the liquid and the beaker which is 2.8 kilograms